New tonight, local, state and city leaders take a stand against a proposal for harsher punishments when protests turn violent. ABC 27's Cara Bailey is following the story tonight. Just after the deadly insurrection in Washington, D.C., members of the Florida House and Senate filed matching bills. Now, they say that the goal is to keep protests peaceful, but Tallahassee Mayor John Daly says that the bills could actually have the opposite effect. Both bills would increase the punishment for violent acts during protests from misdemeanors to felonies, requiring those jailed to wait without bond for first appearance and hold cities responsible for damage to property. While those behind the bill introduced by Governor DeSantis say the goal is to prevent displays like those the country witnessed at the nation's capital, there are concerns that it would keep people from protesting altogether. Today, Mayor John Daly publicly spoke out against those proposed bills, encouraging people to reach out out to their local representatives to vote against both bills. I will state again, you have a First Amendment right to redress your government. You have a constitutionally protected right to tell us what you think we're doing wrong and how we should fix it. When the House version of the bill was introduced by Governor DeSantis, he said it was to protect law enforcement and other people impacted by riots. I reached out to the governor's office this afternoon following Mayor Daley's condemning of these bills, and I have not yet heard back. The Senate is expected to begin discussing its version of the bill as early as Thursday. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. The House will hear the bill Thursday with a floor vote to follow on Friday.